Okay, so I'm going to be using a few different types of junction boxes. This is the one I'm going to use for my light switches, as I've said. Um, it's just standard plastic or fiberglass shell. And I'm also going to be using the metal type in the attic, just because I think they're a little bit more robust and uh, a little bit easier to run conduit and stuff like that too, if I need to do that. The main difference between these two is you also have to ground the box on the metal ones. And you can do that by either buying these ready-made grounding pigtails here, or you can buy just the screw or whatever and uh, fashion your own from, from bare wire of the appropriate gauge. Um, you also have to have these connectors here um, for when you, 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 you pop these things out and then you have to uh, secure the wire somehow. Now some of them will already come with these clamps here. These are NM Romex clamps that come in some of the metal boxes, but like this one doesn't. So you have to, you have to get a separate uh, connector for it to keep the, the wire from you know moving around and slipping and stuff like that. Those are the main differences. So I'm going to install this one first. This is going to go up in the attic and um, be the main power feed, main junction box up there. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to attach this metal box here. Now, I'm just going to put this in a, as accessible area as I can. And that's going to be right here. It allows me to easily work on it without, you know, straining myself all that much. So. I'm just going to make sure that that's nice and level, and then uh, just drill it in, right here. I'm just using some one inch screws here. So next thing I'll be routing this cable here. This is the main uh, power in. And I'm just gonna use some staples to do that. Okay. So that is the uh, main line that's going to go to the two light switches downstairs. I'm not sure how much I like these connectors. It seems like they kind of uh, scrape the outside insulation a little bit much. I'm probably just going to end up keep, uh, keep going with these. Next thing to install will be the, uh, the Romex cable to the uh, bench outlet. All right, so I'm ready to connect all these wires here. I've got my my main coming from my sub panel here. I have the power going down to the light switches. I have the power going to the garage door opener and outdoor light. And I have um, the power going to the outlet near the uh, workbench here. And I'm just going to connect all of these now. So we've got all of our wires stripped that we need to and separated. Uh, we've got four wires coming in here. This one's the main, and then these are going to various other uh, connection points. But the first thing we want to do is attach ground. You have to remember when you're using a metal box to get a separate ground screw, uh, one of these. Now they also sell these with the wire already attached, or you can use any kind of spare uh, bare wire that you have laying around of the same size as your your uh, other wire that you're using here and what we're gonna do is screw it into this raised part here on this metal receptacle I'm just gonna screw it right into there So 
So we're all even up here. Now what I'm going to do, or attempt to do, is twist all these together and put a crimp connection on one of these things. So I'm going to grab my lineman's pliers, see if we can do this here. All right. So we've got them all twisted up all nice. Well, I would say nice, but twisted pretty fine. So what I'm going to do is just slip this crimp connector here over. So there we go. I've got my crimp connection on. Just gonna trim the excess here. There we go. All right. We've got our ground wires. Okay, so next thing we got is the neutrals. We're gonna group all those. There's only gonna be four of them. Uh, but basically, these are just gonna be a pretty simple connection. And I'm actually going to use one of these push-in connectors instead of a wire nut just because there's four of them and ultimately I think this will make a little bit better connection than a wire nut with four wires And it's really just a matter of pushing them in there. There's not a whole lot to it. There we go. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. You can see that they're fully, uh, there's a clear part of the, on the end there. You can see when the wires are fully pushed in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. All those wires are now connected together. Let's see if we can stuff this in nice. Okay, there we go. All right, last but not least, we have the, uh, the hot wires. So one thing I forgot was to actually just yank on all these wires before installing this to make sure they're nice and tight, which you always want to do. Okay, those aren't going anywhere. The only thing left to do with this uh, box is to cover it up. This one's good to go. Everything's grounded, black to black, white to white, and uh, we're good to go. So just going to install the cover here. There we go. Good. That's it. This box is done.